we are here in downtown Kenton right now as per the request of Leo Smith, 4293. So stick with us as we explore Kenton as well as Arbor Lodge. All right, everybody, you got Lucas Holt here, your local realtor for Southwest Washington, as well as the greater Portland area. And again, we got Addy Nett back at, at it, it again. again. Let's go. So again, what we're doing, we're walking through downtown Kenton right now. We're gonna go through Arbor Lodge for you. This right here is actually downtown Kenton that we're walking on right now. I absolutely love this area. Addie and I live not too far away from here in the Portsmouth district of North Portland here, but we find ourselves heading to this downtown Kenton area all the time. So down here, you'll find a lot of really great food for you guys. One of my favorite pizzerias we're passing right now. Fino's. Fino's, baby. Great pizza, great Italian food. And then right next door is my favorite Mexican place in North Portland, Casa Maya. Casa Maya. Great burritos, great enchiladas, whatever you can think of. This strip is just great though. I mean, throughout here you have some bars, restaurants, anything you could think of. They've got a great little farmer's market that actually takes place right on this street as well. It's McCallan Street for you guys. And I get a lot of my produce there during the summer times. So if you're looking at kind of like almost a little hometown -y type vibe where, you know, it's not gonna be a massive downtown. You want just a few selections of food and drink for you. Then this Kenton area is absolutely amazing. Proximity of location. So we are very, very close to the I-5 artery north and south. So there's some pros and some cons to that. Um, also, you've got the max line that runs at the very north point of the Kenton area. So if you're someone that's like, hey, I want this cute little community area, something I could walk to my neighborhood pub, also maybe utilize the max line to get downtown to all the festivals and activities, this is something worth looking at. Downside, max line, public transportation, and main I-5 does bring a little riffraff. So you do need to be aware it's a give and take situation. I will say summer of 2023, things are improving. It's cleaned up quite a bit. The city's done some amazing work. Um, last but not least, you do have the Kenton Park. So all those parents out there that want a place, you know, take the kiddos, the stroller, picnic, all that stuff. We got some great drone footage of that as well. Okay, so right here on my right, we've got Lucas's brother, um, the Lumberjack. All right, guys, if you haven't done so, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and hit that bell button to be notified every time we put out a new video. And again, don't forget, give us a call, give us a text, give us an email anytime, 24 seven, and put us to work for you guys. So again, this is what we do. We like to be the local experts for you guys. We can take you from the cradle to the grave on your home purchasing process. So just give us a call, we do not bite. So as we were talking about right behind me here, this is actually where that actual train max line stop is for you guys. So give and takes for you, it is super, super easy to get to downtown for you guys. Hey, we got them! <laughs> so it's super easy to get downtown, but Unfortunately, with that, you're going to get a little bit of riffraff that comes into town with that max line for you. So it's important to note when you're looking in this area, give us a call again, and we can kind of navigate that with you guys exactly where you want to be located to kind of miss out on that riffraff for you. One more quick, or a couple more quick things. Number one, huge advantage location-wise, 
to major box stores. So if you're like me, oh, I yeah. hate spending my Saturdays and Sundays running to Home Depot, running to Best Buy, running to Lowe's for that one little paintbrush I forgot. So you've got a place called Delta Park in Jansen Beach, less than two miles from this neighborhood. Like nice you, Delta Park, you don't even have to get on the highway and you're gonna hit up your lows, all that kind of stuff down there. Shaving down that commute time, which everyone knows if you've watched Lucas's videos, I hate traffic and I hate wasting time in a car. So that's gonna be your hub for buying all your main, main things. You've got a Costco that's about 18 minute drive here. Um, in no, not too right bad. There. Well, I've done it many times. I've done it many times. So you're either gonna go to the Northeast Costco to grab your big stuff, or you're gonna tr uh, bear the I-5 South to the Tigard area, which is all very doable, about the same. Um, when it comes to choices of homes, one cool thing that a lot of our people that relocate here, and we've done hundreds of these out of state reloads, they love the diversity of architecture. So you're gonna see all sorts of homes, brand new construction, 1940, 50, 60 bungalows, a little 70s here and there, but there's a lot of different price points to get into that other areas don't offer, right Lucas? Exactly, so if you take a look at the real estate around here, this is actually one of the original kind of areas of Portland itself. This was developed to feed off of the actual ports right down the bluff from where we're at right now. So of course with that, you're going to get a lot of like kind of 1920s, 30s, 40s builds for you guys. And the cool thing about that too, is you tend to get a little bit larger of lots on some of these areas. So with that being said, with the single family zoning laws that we have here in Portland, Builders can come in, buy those old properties that might even in, be in distress at this point, and they can split those lots as many times as they want. So what you see a lot in this area too are a lot of brand new construction. We call them skinny talls or shotgun homes. So it's kind of like a row home that is detached on either side though. So it's a cool little housing option and it's pretty affordable as well. But keep on to that affordability side for you. You can get into this area for as low as, you know, high 300s for you if you want. It also goes up even as far as, you know, your five, six, seven, eight hundreds. Yeah. So it's really a wide range of price points for you, depending on the specific block and area that you are in. All right, so as promised, we're out here in the Arbor Lodge neighborhood. Lucas and I consider this at it. an extension of Kenton. So it's if, literally just right across the street from Lombard. A Lombard's hop and a the skip. Street that divides it for you. Yeah, so this particular street's called North Greeley. So a lot of people knew, moved to the North Portland area for the appreciation opportunity and the potential growth. So, so this street, North Greeley, is one of those spots. As you can see, we've droned over, it's right next to the Adidas headquarters. So that brings a lot of stability in the appreciation yep. potential. Adidas is really what's going to anchor this area for you what guys. This is going to be the North American headquarters for them. And really, I mean, you're just getting a lot of uh, uh, young professionals in this area. You're starting to see a lot of mixed use buildings come in. So a lot of renters coming in as well. So if you're looking for a really good investment property, you can this see right might be us. a great area we'll for show you. show them right behind us. That's, yeah. a, that's a mixed use. It's Brand cool. new too, it just got finished. But you what, got like food carts here, bottle and cans. You've got different restaurants, coffee shops, all your charming little areas, a sushi place. This, this is primo spot. So if you want that Kenton, you want a nice feel of maybe even, you know, people really like the Southeast area, yeah. the Hawthorne, the Belmont. This is like it's early area stages. For, early like stages early. of it. The one thing to note for you guys though, so Greeley here, you can see a bunch of traffic, a of traffic. going got by us right now. We got a holler, yep, there we go. So the important thing to note about Greeley is it's going to be a major feeder road 
from the interstate I-5 down there through to North Portland. It cuts North Portland in by like a third for you guys. So the important thing to note though, is that when traffic gets bad on the I-5, a lot of us North Portland locals use Greeley as kind of our back roads to get into the peninsula area for you. So you do see Greeley becoming extremely congested during your rush hours for you. So if you don't want to deal with that traffic issue, then you're going to want to be a few blocks off of Greeley itself. But all in all, it's a really cool area that's really starting to be developed for you guys. So thank you all for tuning in. Again, that was our tour of Kenton as well as Arbor Lodge for you. If you haven't done so yet, do us a favor, hit that like, hit subscribe, hit that bell button, yeah. be notified every time we put out a new video. And again, guys, give us a call, give us a text, give us an email and put us to work for you guys. Let's find your next home here in the greater Portland area. Let's go. Let's go, have a great day.